Hello everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the enhanced risk that's been placed for South and North Dakota as well as the little areas of Wisconsin. Um, seems like it is going to be mostly a hail and wind um, event, but there is a 5% chance of tornadoes, although so far the atmosphere is not showing very, you know, very good chance. Um, I think the highest risk will be wind and hail. Um, due to a couple severe thunderstorms, supercells, and maybe an even an MCS that could develop and border to North and South Dakota. So that's the hail risk right there. 30% um, hatch risk. Uh, and then same thing for uh, wind risk, which is 30% hatched risk, but just much larger area. So we're going to look at the um, high resolution rapid refresh. This is... Here we are. So this is around 4 p.m., so right now. And as you can see, some storms are starting to develop um, right around this area. They could have some potential intensity. And then gets starting to get a little stronger here. These definitely have the chance to be pretty severe uh, as they're moving along. Uh, this kind of branches out a little bit, but they don't look as strong. It's more like up here. This could produce... A little bit I'm not sure um, and then right here this is this area is in the more bulk shear area uh, which it keeps storm sustained um, and I'll look at that in a moment here uh, oh. as you can see this kind of starts developing almost like a bow shape and then right here we get some scattered storms here all along this border and I think this just this area right here this is the severe risk and I don't know I'm not I'm not sure when the exact risk is going to be. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that real quick. But first, we're going to look at the bulk shear and whatnot. So as you can see, there is very, very high right here in little areas of Colorado, North South Dakota, Nebraska, very high in uh, Northwest Nebraska. Um, it's interesting because if you go to Helicity, very low, and yet they still have a 5% tornado risk for this little pocket right here. Like I said, I just don't see it. I don't I don't see what's going on there. I don't understand how that would be a tornado risk, but maybe it'll develop later in the day. As you can tell, there's an extremely large ridge here. Very large moisture and heat area. Very hot in these temperatures. I'm right around this area as well, so I'm getting it. And then we've got a low trough right here that's going to be pushing into all of this moisture that it's been that's just been sitting here and produce some severe storms this is probably going to be later in the day that it starts becoming more of a wind event in my opinion uh so here we are we've got the low pressure um cold front going through with this trough um as with all of this moisture going on right now so it's going to be very interesting lots of severe weather in that area, uh, sorry, I forgot to look at Cape here. Let me take a look. Uh, obviously you can tell some pretty large amounts of Cape up here. We've got 3,000, 4,000 in the areas of Minnesota. Uh, there's still a little bit of capping up here in North Dakota, and that's not going away quite yet, but it'll probably will. I mean, although it is 4 p.m., that might start going out of the severe risk, although, you know, main risk is right here, so it's not really even in that area. But yeah, supercell composite, pretty high right here. If we go to, let's gonna, let's go ahead and go to radar scope. Oops. You can tell we already have some severe thunderstorms developing right now. Let's see, can I get any better radar here? Probably not. Um, with some hail chance as well. Oops, wrong one. Obviously we've got large hail in this little area. And possibly even a little bit of a mesocyclone, not sure yet. Uh, especially because these are so far away from the, uh, risk, or, sorry, the radar. <laughs> so, yeah, these storms are going to start developing, and they're going to push northeast and probably become more of a, um, more of a, like, probably an MCS, almost. Uh, let's look at another model real quick. This is the ESRL. This is around 3 p.m., or 4 p.m., sorry. This is all eastern time zone, by the way. As you can tell, some severe thunderstorms are developing, as we saw on radar. This seems pretty accurate. And then it kind of, this model shows, it kind of becomes into, or it comes into a big, uh, 
uh, system. And it seems like, you know, more southern area keeps all of that more hail potential. But then, obviously, we can see in this high-risk, some super cell, not high-risk, sorry, enhanced risk. We've got some supercells developing up here. Um, and then some scattered storms down here. These could be pretty intense, in my opinion. And also this guy right here, maybe even this one. But I think Nebraska is going to just see some scattered scattered thunderstorms. Could be severe. But, um, yeah, so we're looking at 8 p.m. right now, Eastern Time Zone. This right here is looking pretty strong. This area probably going to be where the supercells are going to merge into. Still could be some supercells down here with these scattered thunderstorms, but we're not sure yet. Um, yeah, then it kind of forms into one big line moving northeast. This right here could produce some heavier wind, especially more on the south end in uh, South Dakota. Uh, and then we go into 10 p.m., and definitely in South Dakota, you're going to see some strong winds right there with that almost bow shape. Uh, that's going to produce some large wind and hail. I think this is also going to produce some severe weather. So it looks like it's going to be late afternoon into evening and some into the night. Um, let's see, or how far would it let me go? Wow, okay, this is new information for me. Definitely still a line going on here. This is kind of almost a bow echo formation that'll probably also produce some large winds and then it forms all into one big line as it goes into you know early tuesday morning and then kind of dies out but yeah um i'm still looking to see how this uh bulk shear is going to move uh northwest probably with the uh, storms as well uh, that are forming in uh colorado southeast colorado or northeast sorry and then we can see the wind, the jet stream is pushing it upwards and northeast, so that's probably where all that bulk shear is going to go. But yeah, I would say that's it for now. Um, so far, no update on the severe weather risk. Um, I will keep looking. I'll probably do a live stream later with some of the storms that are popping up on Radar Scope. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.